What's going on YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here and in today's video guys we are going to be discussing the new aluminum wide grip grab bar brought out to you by Team Alba Racing. These aluminum wide grip grab bars that just hit the market recently, um, comparing them to the competition that's on the market nowadays, the mounting brackets that are on the grab bar here that you mount to your subframe, these come 0.472 inches thick, which is like a negligible amount away from a half inch thick. Any other competitors, most of them, are barely even a quarter inch these days. Um, these are manufactured by Team Alba Racing. Uh, after the manufacturing process, if there's any marks on them that do occur, which you know happens during the manufacturing process, this is a, this is a metal product that is handmade. Um, it is buffed to a shiny, long-lasting, durable finish, and it also hits the uh, anodizing tank. Um, in this video, we are going to be installing it on our 2007 Honda TRX 450ER. This grab bar fits all years of the TRX 450R and 450ER. Tools that you will need. Um, you will need, obviously, a 10 millimeter to remove your old grab bar from the quad. And with the new hardware and mounting brackets that come with the grab bar from Team Alba Racing, these are 12 millimeter. Um, it also comes with the exhaust bracket. It comes with any brackets you may need for uh, mounting your light or uh, a flag if you're going out to the dunes to go take a rip. Um, also, a uh, mounting bracket for a number plate, if uh, you so desire, is also included. Uh, some reasons why you may or may not need to change your grab bar is either A, one, you want to upgrade, which I'm a fan of, and if you guys know the channel, well, we work on quads, trikes, bikes all the time, and I like my stuff to look fresh, and these do look rather fresh, I must say. I am definitely a fan of the wide grip style. Other reasons why you uh, may or may not want to change your grab bar is other than, like I said, just to upgrade. Uh, in our case, the previous owner of this TRX 450ER had a little bit of a mishap. So you can kind of see the, see the difference in the thickness here, guys. I mean, a quarter inch isn't like a whole lot, but it makes a difference, trust me. Uh, you guys definitely want your stuff that you upgrade onto your quad and that you pay good money for to last and have some durability to it. And I feel t completely comfortable putting this on the quad. Um, skill level for this installation would be novice, uh, level one. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't need to be a certified mechanic to do this, guys. So in this video, we are going to go over installing this on the quad. I had removed the rear plastics so I can get you guys a good view of what's going on and you know so you can just basically see what we're doing here. So stick around till the end of the video. Team Alba Racing was also generous enough to uh, generate a 10% discount code for any of my viewers or any of you that are uh, linked to this video for the installation process by Team Alba Racing. So without further ado. Let's get into putting this thing on the quad. Stick around. Here we're at the quad. After you've removed your uh, stock or whatever uh, aftermarket grab bar you've had on the quad already, there is four 10 millimeter bolts that come on the quad stock. Um, once you remove those, there's also these fender brackets that uh, hold up the rear fender. They just get bolted on there with this as well. Um, one of my tabs is actually broke off on my plastics, but I will show you guys how those go back on. We also have our um, exhaust bracket supplied by Alba. We have these L brackets that came supplied from Alba as well. These are for mounting your tail light. Uh, yes, you can use them for mounting a number plate because if you're racing, you need to take the lights off your quad anyway, as far as I know. Um, at least that's how it used to be. I don't know if it still is. Go ahead and feel free to comment down there and let me know if you do race. Um, the tail light. I have a 400EX tail light. If uh, any of you guys with a keen eye would notice that this is not a 450R tail light, but it is the same width and same mounting procedure. So for visual purposes, I'll show you guys how the L brackets go on here and how they are uh, designed so you can mount your tail light or, like I said, use a number plate instead. The 
wide grip grab bar from Alba Racing itself. You'll notice that on the really thick mounting bar that's on these, there are three holes. You guys have two elongated holes and then this hole up here. The smaller hole towards the rear of the grab bar, this one here that's not elongated, that is for you to mount this on your 2004 or 2005 TRX 450ER or BR. This one that we're working on is a 2007 TRX 450ER. So we'll be using these two elongated holes. But like I said, if you have an 04 and 05, the provisions are there to mount this on your quad. So this does fit all years of the TRX 450R. After you've removed the four 10 millimeter bolts that are holding on the grab bar that is was previously on your quad, on this particular model, the 450R, there is a bracket in here that has two captive nuts on it. These you will be reusing. They slide in here. Um, that's where the new hardware that is supplied by Team Alba Racing will come into play. You have the three shorter bolts. You have the three shorter bolts and the one longer bolt. The one longer bolt will be for the hole that you choose to mount your exhaust bracket in. Uh, you can do it in either hole depending on the exhaust that you have on your quad. This particular 450ER has a HMF silencer on it. Um, so depending on your application and what exhaust you have, Whatever hole is going to work best for your application will be the one you can use. What we're going to do first is we're going to get our two forward, the two more forward bolts started. We're going to start threading these in by hand. And we're just going to leave them loose for now until we figure out and get everything lined up and figure out exactly which hole we'd like to uh, mount our exhaust bracket to. So we'll just get these started. Um, it's a good rule of thumb, guys. Whenever you're installing something, nuts, bolts, whatever, always, if you can, start the threading by hand at first. Don't just go in there with an impact gun and just whiz them on down because you run the risk of possibly uh, stripping out the threads or marring up either the threads and the bolt. So let me get these all started in here and then we will uh, mock up our exhaust and see which hole is best suited for the application that we have here on this 450R. Alrighty, so here we have the grab bar all mocked up. These are all just loosely in place. We have our mounts for the rear fenders put in. Uh, I went with the forward hole to mount our HMF silencer to. That is uh, That gets mounted there with the the longer bolt of the four that are supplied from Alba. Now, let's get into, if you guys want to run a tail light, let me set you up on the tripod here and I'll show you what procedure you would do to mount the L brackets that come from Alba so you can run your factory tail light if you'd like to or a number plate, like I said. The L brackets that come from Alba Racing, the more rear bolt that is in here, I'm not going to be running a tail light on this quad, guys. So, what you would do if you do want to run it, like I said, this is a 400EX tail light, but it's the same. It's the same, you know, concept as uh, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. These are the parts where you would mount them to these L brackets, and these are these do swivel. So, whatever length you end up with is how you would mount these to the L bracket here, just like so. A couple visuals for you guys that don't understand what I'm trying to convey. How about this one? Or this picture? Or even this picture? Alrighty, and just simple like that, guys. There is our brand new wide grip grab bar from Team Alba Racing. With the exhaust bracket mounted on there. If you guys are interested in more content like this and want to see other stuff that we are installing on the 450R from Team Alba... Be sure to hop on over to YouTube and check out my channel. It's called Garage MC. Um, other things that we are doing to this quad that came from Team Alba is we have a set of bead locks, which if you're curious on how to set up those bead locks, I have a video out on my channel now. We do have over 100 uploads. Um, these here, we had I already mounted the tires on them. These are the Team Alba Racing uh, XC Ripper tires. These, these ones here are six-ply. They're extremely heavy-duty. These are the two fronts here. 
And then these are the rears. The tread pattern on these is aggressive as hell, guys. I love them. I cannot wait to put these on the quad. And this is, these are also the Alba Racing beadlock wheels here. These are the polished with the black ring. I do believe they offer them in several different colors as far as the locking ring is concerned. But next thing we'll be doing as far as the Alba upgrades that we're doing to the 450R is a set of A-arms, uh, plus two, plus one A-arms, I believe. Uh, we're also doing a plus two steering stem. We're doing the braided uh, stainless steel brake lines from Alba Racing. And we're also going to be doing a set of Nerf bars on here from Alba. We also got a couple other little goodies that we're going to bolt on. Just a little cherry on the top, if you will. The 10% discount code that was generated by Team Alba Racing for my viewers is GMC10. So the name of my channel, abbreviated 10 10% off. For more content on quads, trikes, and bikes, be sure to hop on over to my YouTube channel, guys. It's Garage MC. One word, no spaces. I'll see you guys in the garage next time. Thanks for joining us here. Peace! It does look rather nice, guys. I'm very, very happy with this grab bar. I think it suits the quad very well. Very, very well. Nice finish, too, from the buffing and the anodizing. Don't forget, guys, these grab bars are also available in black.